Kyle Wiley Pickett, conductor of the Springfield Symphony Orchestra, is with us now. Kyle, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for having me back. We love <laughs> we to love hear about what's going here, yes. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So talk to us about this next theme. We have this is an amazing, amazing week for us mm -hmm. because we have this is something special, something we've never done before. We are bringing the St. Louis Ballet, oh, wow. the oh. whole company. To Springfield. How many members is that? Oh, they're bringing like 40 dancers. Oh I mean, gosh. it's it's big. Uh -huh. And they are going to be performing the full Swan Lake Ballet with us mm -hmm. on the Hammonds Hall stage. Wow. And it's sort of one of these concert full performance hybrids that we do where the orchestra will be on stage. So basically, we're the set. The orchestra is the okay. set. Oh, okay. And they're going to dance the whole ballet in front of us. Oh, and wow. It is going to be spectacular. I mean, just amazing. Yeah. yeah. So how did this partnership forge? Because you said this is the first time you've done it. Yeah, well, a couple years ago, I was, you know, I'm always looking for creative things to do at Christmas time. And yeah. uh, I wanted a couple principal dancers to do some of the Nutcracker with us mm. on stage. Not the full ballet, but just a couple things. Yeah. And uh, I called around, and the, the St. Louis Ballet said, sure, we'll send a couple of our principals. They danced with us. They loved it. They uh -huh. said, just hearing the full orchestra behind them, it just yeah. felt so good. And they, they said, we don't get to play with full orchestra very often, hint, hint. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so I, I called their artistic director and said, I've got an idea. But the other thing that's huge about this is they're coming here this weekend, okay. and then we're taking the whole Springfield Symphony to St. Louis the oh. next weekend, oh. and we're going to be with them for their production of Swan Lake, so we'll be in the pit for their whole their whole season production on that. That's incredible. It's a big deal for us. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. And, and I'm picturing someone like me getting so distracted by dancers around me, <laughs> but you have professionals, so we I know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and you know, honestly, when we're in St. Louis, we're down in the pit, and so okay. the orchestra can't see what's going on. I can yeah. see what's going on, but yeah. the orchestra yeah. can't. Can't see. And on Hammond's Hall stage, your extra will be able to see the, or, the ballet dancers as well. But we've got a lot to do because it's a full, you know, it's a full ballet score that Tchaikovsky wrote right. here. Yeah. And Swan Lake, for viewers who don't know it, it's kind of the ballet. I mean, mm -hmm. that is yeah. the story ballet, Swan right. Lake. And uh, I mean, it's been. You remember the movie Black Swan? Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, that's right. all about doing <laughs> Swan Lake sure. and, and all that. So it's uh, it's going to be something else. Mm -hmm. yeah. It really is. So have you ever seen this before? I mean, I know you haven't done it. So as far as if I've ever gone to see Swan uh -huh. Lake? I no, no, no. I mean, the, the oh, combination. Uh, yeah, it happens now and then. Okay. Um, and of course, you know, a lot of big ballet companies have orchestras that play in the pit for them. Mm -hmm. But uh, it becomes harder and harder. And, and a lot of even the big city ballets, like St. Louis Ballet, doesn't have a regular orchestra with them. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's it, it lets the Springfield Symphony come up and, oh. and play. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Now, good. besides maybe the obvious of like, you know, the, the fact that it provides a visual, why, how do you think that the dancing enhances the overall performance? Yeah, it's, you know, so, so this music is so iconic, and and this and 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 of course Nutcracker and Sleeping Beauty. Those are the three big Tchaikovsky ballets, mm -hmm. and we've done Romeo and Juliet and these other ballets. Yeah. You know, the the ballet. These are orchestra pieces that were written to be danced. The dancing tells the story, mm. and uh, and one of the things that's so so beautiful about it is that the the music and the dance they integrate because that's the way they're designed to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we'll play them as a concert without the dancers, but then when you get to see the dancers do it with the with the company, with the orchestra, mm -hmm. yeah. it just it just takes it to the level that it was originally intended to be incredible. to be seen. Yeah. It is it really is incredible. And yeah. so it becomes a a, a multi-sensory experience. So it's mm -hmm. not just about hearing this gorgeous music, it's about hearing this gorgeous music and then seeing the Full artistry. Full experience with all your senses. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And and let me say this too. I didn't grow up, I wasn't, I wasn't a ballet fan. It was never kind of my thing mm -hmm. until, you know, some years ago when I started getting hired to do Nutcrackers. And, and I have to say, ballet dancers are the greatest athletes <laughs> I have ever seen. I would agree. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. And I mean, their strength and their uh -huh. endurance and, and their skill yes. is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's really incredible. Yeah. I mean, so even if you say ballet, <laughs> no, it's going to I mean, be, you, you got to give this a... Tell us how to find so. tickets. So, you always can go to the website, Springfield Symphony... SpringfieldMoSymphony.org. Mm -hmm. I almost forgot. I was just going to say, don't forget the Mo. Uh -huh. um, you get tickets through Hammond's Hall box office, but okay. all of the information is at SpringfieldMoSymphony.org. Perfect. Hey, Thank perfect. you so much. Kyle, thank you. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. It's going to be a good one. Yes. All right. Well,